So another Monday and another update in the AI world. This time it's Claude. We now have a uh, Claude Sonnet 4.5 that's dropping today for general use. And obviously it's good at coding as well. So what does this give us? Well, now we've got Opus 4.1. It's a powerful, large model for complex challenges. And then we've got the new Sonnet 4.5 smart, efficient model for everyday use. This is what they're going to want you to toggle on for everyday use. This is sort of the equivalent of GP5, GTP5 for uh, ChatGPT for what you want to use for most things. Now, as it says right here, Opus is going to consume larger amounts of tokens. We're going to see more slowdowns, more stall outs and so forth with Opus. However, as y'all have made me aware and as I have seen in my own practice, even with Sonnet, we're getting timeouts and we're getting throttling as of the update uh, for weekly usage updates and limits that they put in about a month ago now. So, you know, you're going to get throttled with Claude. This is kind of the cost of doing business, and I'm not a big fan of it, and I know that you're not either. Tell me in the comments, are you still experiencing this to a lesser or a greater degree now during this week as we roll out with Sonnet 4.5? And then let me just bring in what I've got in my notes here for kind of the overview of this introduction to Claude article. Uh, I mean, as I said before, this is basically another iterative improvement on the everyday coding model or everyday AI model that they want you to be using for Claude. This is the equivalent, in my opinion, of GPT-5, how they want that to be kind of the standard issue model that's used for most every use. So of course, the first thing that they want you to know, the best model, the best coding model yet, blah, blah. I mean, this is just, you might as well copy and paste a lot of these for some of these releases, but it doesn't make it untrue. Uh, they have a big leap forward in reasoning and maths, so stronger across finance, law, medicine, STEM, We've got developer upgrades. So if you're a developer using this in Claude code, we've also got a native VS code extension and new agent SDK dropping. Smarter apps. So this is something that I have appreciated. ChatGPT will handle this as well. And I'm gonna be uh, experimenting with Claude, but we can now create slides, docs, spreadsheets. So we can give it a, spe a set of specifications and it can actually go in and create an XLSM is that right? Uh, there's a bunch of them, but it will create that or it'll create a CSV file or it'll create a docs file instead of just giving you the markdown copy and paste text. This has been possible for a while, but uh, we've got smarter apps that are able to do this a little bit better now directly in chat. We've got a Chrome extension if you're a Max user, Honestly, the extensions have, ne extensions have never been my ball of wax. I don't have any of the LLM extensions enabled um, for my Chrome or for my Edge browser. I, I don't prefer using it that way, but if it's important, for some reason that's behind the Max paywall. Uh, and then we've got the most aligned model yet. So safer, reduced misaligned behaviors, stronger defense against prompt injection. Again, the whole ball of wax here, we've just got more and better stuff added into Claude. We've also got a bonus preview, this Imagine with Claude demo, which is real-time software generation for a limited time. I think this is for five days that they've got it in the max plan. Let's see where it is. Releasing a preview, we encourage you to try it out. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, for the next five days. So that's gonna be available if you're on a max plan for the next five days, days to check out. And if you want the link to this, you've probably already checked it out, but I'll leave that down in the description. Are you using Claude still? Does this change anything with your workflow? For me, I have actually turned to Claude over the past 60 to 90 days, more and more over ChatGPT, personal preference. I like their projecting uh, setup a little bit better. I think their organization is a little bit better. Honestly, it's just little tweaks that I enjoy more out of Claude in addition to the fact that it does create a little bit more, um, how shall I say it, human-like writing outputs. I'm still tweaking the crap out of stuff when I am generating text, and I'm really not doing that as much as I was before. I'd use it for odds and ends. I use it as a starting, starting point sometimes, but I'm using primarily LLMs for code and for automation type of tasks today. Big thing that Claude is not doing right, in my opinion, over here, well, I won't pull it up necessarily, but you know how you can have an artifact on the side 
and you can put it, you know, you can have it generate text, you can have it generate code and an artifact. Well, we cannot edit that like we can in ChatGPT. So if I want anything to change there, I can't just go over and change a line manually, which would take four seconds. If I want it changed in the artifact, I've got to ask Claude to do that. This is a big L in my opinion. This needs to be changed. I'm not sure if there's a reason behind it, but I don't like it. And it is an advantage that ChatGPT does have when you're dealing in their canvas versus uh, Claude's artifacts. So that's not enough to keep me from using Claude as my primary LLM when I reach for one of these tools today. What's been your experience? I would love to know in the comments. If you find this useful, please subscribe and like the video. Hope you have a great one. Check this video out next. Talk to you later. Bye.